Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, it is Thursday morning and I just wanted to share my thoughts on the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane situation. Um, more so her interview with Gail King, my thoughts and what I've been observing on social media and just a few questions or uh, bringing some things to your awareness um, this morning. I'm not one to really just jump on trends and things. I consider myself a trendsetter. Um, so it takes me a while before I speak on something. I try to get all the facts and and just go from there. I have spoken on the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez incident before um, a long time ago, but not so much until recently. She did this interview with Gail King and it was very disturbing as a supporter to see her try to talk about a incident that was obviously traumatic for her. She could barely look Gail in her face. She was fighting back tears. And clearly she was in pain. She was hurt. And I want to say, why is someone being shot so funny? I've been trying to find the irony in it. Like, and I'm a person that laugh at every fucking thing. Like, I literally really don't take much serious. But I can't find anything funny about a person being shot at all. So enlighten me on that. That's my first question. What? Why is that funny? Another thing I want to bring to your awareness is this stigma in society that black women can't be trusted we're damn sure not protected and we lie about everything and i gather that information because seeing social media it really opened your eyes and enlightens you to how people really feel about black women in our pain and what we go through. This is past slavery, y'all. This is past, this ain't even got nothing to do with slavery. This is really how society view black women. And it's a fucking shame. It's pathetic. It makes no sense that any other race of women can get on probably get an interview with Gail King and talk about an incident that happened to them and they are going to be believed. But let it be us. We lying. We doing it for clout. We cap. Nobody, who who have black women back? I just want somebody to answer that question for me, please. Because I primarily see black men laughing about her being shot. It could be your mom, your sister. That could be your daughter. It just makes no sense to me that this is so hilarious to a lot of people. And you are the very people. Be the first person to say, rest in peace. Oh, I didn't know why she didn't tell me she was going through something. Oh, I can't believe she killed herself. How dare she? I loved her. How the fuck is somebody supposed to know that when all y'all do is laugh at people and what they go through? Everything is not funny. Like, seriously, everything is not funny. Like, I'm always considering that that could be me or my loved one. I know everybody don't think like me, but I don't mean to turn up on y'all, but it's just like, I keep seeing the shit. I keep seeing the shit. It never stops. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I go, I scroll through it. I don't want to have to, I don't want to argue with you about your beliefs or your pace. Opinions are like assholes. Last time I checked, everyone got one. So I ain't going to just be arguing with you. This is what you believe. But now I'm going to say what I believe. I don't feel like black women are truly, genuinely respected. And I damn sure don't believe that we are protected. And that's a problem. It's concerning. Y'all want people to rally for y'all being shot by cops and this and that. You know what I'm saying? But we just get laughed at. We get mocked. We get talked about. We get told we're lying. Who gives a fuck if she slept with him? Who cares? 
I don't care who sleeping with who. I don't give a damn. But if she got shot, because there is a very big possibility that she got shot, I find it very hard to believe that she would take a PR stunt this goddamn far. And I saw her has a bullet taken out of her foot on, I think she went Instagram live at the very beginning because you people were talking shit about it. My mama always told me one thing about the truth is it never lie, it never, it never changes. You never, the, the, the story never changes. Only a lie changes. When you're lying, your story gonna change. You ever talk to somebody and you know they lying because they told you that story before and they didn't tell you that version or they added some new shit after the 10th time they told you, so now this happened? Well, why you ain't tell me that last time? One thing about me is if, when I tell you a story, best believe the story is never going to change. You will probably get annoyed as fuck because I'm going to be, that story is going to tie in from the beginning to the end, just like the very first time. And I have no reason to doubt Megan But most of all, I don't know Megan or Tori. But what I'm not going to sit up here and do is laugh about anyone that's been hurt, traumatized. And I feel like, just me personally, I think she shouldn't have even done this interview. I really think it was uncalled for. I don't think it was needed. Because when you're telling the truth about something, you don't have to try to convince people. Baby, let them people think what the fuck they want to think. Because one thing about this world is they going to think regardless. You can open up your mouth. He can open up his mouth and the truth come out that he shot her. And people still going to say she lying. Because black women are not protected. Y'all need to stop that bullshit acting like y'all protect us. Acting like y'all give a damn about what we go through in society because you don't. And the truth hurts. I know it. All I'm saying is take into consideration when you're talking about people and you're laughing about people. And you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. And just think about everything that I'm saying and ask yourself. Do you do y'all really protect black women? I'm just saying, y'all want us to be submissive and so low-key and chill and not have a voice and not say anything when we bother we're angry black women. Y'all just want us to just be ran over, walked over. We don't have any support in society but each other. And that is why I'm so pro-woman. And that is why I try to have the next sister back. And that is why I try to adjust the next sister crime without telling everybody. Because I know my sisters, we lack that support and that protection. This is Miss Blue with my Ear to the Street segment. Thank you for tuning in.